Okay, this is it. What's up guys, it's Bolt and I'm back with another Remnant 2 build guide and in this video we're going to go over my Madness Mage mod dot build. And before I get into the build I do want to just preface this by saying that the damage is so absurd on this build because it is a bug slash glitch going on which I will explain but I still decided to post this build because even without the bug or the glitch happening, it is still a monstrous freaking build. The damage is still amazing and it still will hold up extremely well. But let me go over the glitch itself. So currently, Timekeeper's Jewel is affecting Overload. We already know that. It's, it's like doubling the damage of Overload. But on top of that, I discovered while testing this build out that it is doubling the damage of the Fargazer mod. So, Fargazer are already does crazy damage. So imagine doubling that. And that's why you're seeing such high damage numbers in these video clips presented in this video. But like I said, regardless, you take this out, you put something else in here like Singed Ring or whatever you want to put in there. And the damage will absolutely still be ridiculous and the build still holds up. So if and when this does get patched, the build will still be relevant. But anyway, let's get into it. First things first, we have our Archon slotted in first. And this is because we want the Prime Perk Tempest. We have the Chaos Gate here because we want to boost up our damage for our mods and also our mod gen. Next up, we have the Ritualist slotted in second, and we went with Miasma. Now, this build is about mod, the dots from mod. The status effect dots are just utility for this build, so we're not focusing the damage on actual status effects. We're, we're focusing on the damage over time from the mods. So Miasma is our utility skill to apply all of the status effects, and that way we're going to get all our bonuses from the Ahane Crystal, which is probably the strongest ring of the game. When you have all five of the status effects applied, you get the 25% damage increase, which is a multiplicative. And we're also going to get our Abrasive Whetstone to proc. And this is absolutely one of the strongest amulets in the game. We get the crit damage, we get the crit percentage. And then after that, we're just crit stacking and crit percentage and crit damage. We have our Kari Warband and we have our Burden of the Gambler. Feel free to swap out Burden of the Gambler for something like Singed Ring if you're fighting somebody with a weak spot but I my recommendation is that you do keep this on anyway because our damage is coming from our mods and you want to be able to uh, crit more with the Fargazer mod and the Chaos Driver mod from Enigma so keep on Bird of the Gambler in that regard and then last but not least we have the Timekeeper's Jewel now the reason why I put slotted this into my build was because I was having difficulty keeping the five stacks of the Miasma skill before it ran out to make sure I have a Honey Crystal. So I was just like, you know what? If I double it with the Timekeeper's Jewel, then I'll have it up pretty much indefinitely. And that's when I discovered the absurdity that happened with the Fargazer mod and the Timekeeper's Jewel. So it was mainly just for utility to keep my Ahane Crystal up throughout the entire fight. And yeah. It just so happens to double the damage of Overloads and Fargazer. So have fun with that. But if you do want to play Honest and you do not want to abuse the, this this bug, then feel free to slot this out for something like Singed Ring, uh, Probability Cord, um, Stone of Malevolence if you want more mod gen, anything like that. But this right here is the culprit for the bug, so have fun with it as long as you want to. Next thing up, we have the armor set, guys. You know I do not care really about stats I like looking cool and usually my mage builds I like this this look right here and I get a lot of comments section uh, a lot of comments asking me what the armor is so it's crimson red widow crimson and crimson and that's the look you get right here 
And on top of that, we got 46.1 damage reduction, which isn't too shabby. Allows me to survive m most hits and very rarely get one shot. Next up, we have the Relic. I chose Tranquil Heart because it's probably one of my favorites. I just don't like using Relics during a fight. I feel like it takes down... Uh, it takes away the time for DPS, so I usually just like to get some passive healing, but feel free to use whatever relic you want. The main thing here is the relic fragments, which is the mod damage, the elemental damage, and the mythic mod cost. Next up, we have our weapons. I went with the bone saw because we aim down sights for a long time with the bone saw, which will enable us to keep the fargazer out, and the fargazer is the star of the show. Probably one of my favorite mods in the entire game for all builds, even from range builds. Sometimes you're fighting a boss with a elemental resist. I love having Fargazer for those circumstances because it negates the elemental resist. So if you can't use Hot Shot or Corrosive Shot anymore, put on, put on Fargazer, you get some nice passive damage. Really nice mod. It's a fire and forget and just really pass, really good passive damage. And it's very strong and it's easy to charge. One with the Harmonizer. Mutator on it to increase the damage and that's going to increase our Mod charge uh, mod generation for the enigma, which we don't use often So that's why it's really nice to have harmonizer slotted here next We do have enigma which goes perfectly with the fargazer So the chaos driver you're aiming down the sights for a long time To shoot each of those rods out so it goes hand in hand with fargazer the aiming will keep the fargazer out and on top of that, it's also passive uh, damage, just like the Fargazer. So it's like a it's a it's a damage over time mod build, essentially what we're doing here. So the and the Chaos Driver, when you have all seven rods with one rod attached to the ground or tethered to another to a wall, the damage is crazy on Enigma. It's such an underrated mod. We already know how strong Enigma is for mobbing, but the mod on it actually does absurd amount of damage too when all of the rods are attached. Got the fail safe on there for the 20% extra damage. And then, you know, the more charges we have, the more opportunity we have to gain a charge back. So it works out very well. And then we went with the Krell Axe, which is crazy bugged right now. Obviously, more overload damage, the overload on Enigma doing double. So your Krell Axe is going to do absurd damage. We have the Stormbringer on there just to get a little bit more status effect damage. But feel free to put on whatever mutator you would like on this. And then on to the traits. Flashcaster and Affliction are the respective traits for the archetypes. One with Fortify to give me some more damage reduction. Swiftness, give me more speed. Vigor, obviously, more health. Spirit to charge up those Fargazers and, and Chaos Drivers. Expertise, so we can get the Miasma out quicker. Amplitude, which will increase our Miasma AoE and our Chaos uh, Gate AoE. And I believe it also increases Fargazer, if I'm not mistaken. Might, it might, I'm not 100%. Footwork, so when I aim down sights with Fargazer, I, I strafe quicker, quicker. Fitness just, you know, helps me with survivability. And then a couple of points in endurance and recovery. But again, guys, traits are always up to you. I leave it in your hands. Everybody has a different play style or things that they enjoy over others. So this is just my recommendation and how I like to play. But feel free to change that up. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, if and when this this pa this gets patched, who knows? Enjoy it while it is while while you still can. But if and when it does, it is still going to be a very good build. Again, I try, I already tested it without the Timekeeper's Jewel, and I use other stuff, Singe Ring, and other thing in, in its place, and it's still crazy how strong Fargazer is uh, paired with with Enigma, and uh, it, it will still hold up insanely well, and really really can't go wrong with it and it's keeping it slotted in one of your uh loadouts but as of right now it's probably one of the strongest builds in the game so enjoy it while it lasts hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you found it informative if you did please consider giving it a like please consider sharing it subscribing if you have not already and drop a comment guys let me know what you think did you guys know about this bug did you guys know about the overload bug as well with time keepers duel and, and all the absurd damage numbers going on let me know what you guys think. I'm going to be working on the next build, but until then, I'll catch everyone on the next one.